I quit drinking two years ago. It was end of the June. The last night in Milan and I was hanging out with a friend of mine and his name is Andrea. He's an amazing Italian guy. And he knows everyone and every bar in the street. So he took me to literally every bar and we end up like taking so many shots and we end up drinking with a bunch of female models that I met on the street. And the next day when I woke up, I literally just decided to quit drinking. All right, calm down, show. Why did you quit? Because it sounds like a fucking awesome night. And that's exactly why I quit. Because part of me was absolutely dependent on the alcohol, the power of the alcohol. And I hate to break it to you, but majority of people on this planet without alcohol are not confident, not charismatic, not smooth, boring. Because I'll tell you what, when you're drunk, you basically brain functions very slower and then that takes away the, the blockage and your limiting beliefs away. Oh, like, what if that girl rejects me? Oh, what if that guy judges me? And this is exactly why we are so addicted to the alcohol because it takes away insecurity and fear and your ego and everything else is that sabotage you from being who you are. Now, what we actually give a shit the most when we're drinking is the sensation and feeling of being free. And I felt that too. I felt that too. I felt very charismatic and I felt very smooth. I felt very confident. And it was so much fun because when you're drunk, you're fun. You're a fun guy. You're a fun girl. But when you're not, you're boring. So the exact next day I woke up and then I was a little bit hungover and I asked myself, if I don't drink, am I as confident as me drunken virgin? Or am I smooth? Am I a fun person? The answer was, Welcome to the channel, my name is Sho. In this channel, we share love and positivity with a twist of Japanese philosophy in it. So if you like that, make sure to subscribe to the notification bell. So the people get confused when I say this, but the reason, if I name the reason why I quit alcohol, is because too much fun. Who doesn't want to have fun? But when I started it, the initial goal, initial purpose was to accomplish my goal. At the time of thriving in my coaching business, and then I wanted to reach $10,000 a month. I wanted to get to the six figure level. So I basically quit because I was wasting my time and energy on women and alcohol and everything else. And I was broke at the time, flat broke. So the initial goal was me reaching $10,000 and popping in champagne and celebrate myself and wins and everything else with my friend and start drinking. But that was the goal. I wanted to actually experience that. I wanted to celebrate myself with the champagne and stuff like that. And I don't know how long it will take at the time, I didn't know. That's something that I wanted to reach. However, I reached it shortly after, but then I decided not to drink. So if you have a goal, whatever it is, losing your weight, getting shredded, building a business, like me, you know, hitting a 10K in your business, in your coaching or whatever it is, if you have a goal and it's still wasting your money and time with things that doesn't help you to accomplish then what the fuck are you doing? Because I think people are too convinced with the word work-life balance. But I believe that if you work for company 95, then obviously company has to take care of your certain level of health and mental and physical health. But if you are the one who deciding to accomplish your goal for yourself, for your success, for your happiness, because you believe you deserve it, because you want it, nobody else asks you to chase that dream, why are you still wasting your time and energy on things that doesn't help you or actually sabotage you from accomplishing your goals. Okay, back to my experience. So shortly after, I experienced a very light, fun, good energy, high energy moment and I could work out every single day. Obviously, you don't have any hangover because you don't drink and feel like saving some time and energy to make more content. And at the time I was in Malta, so there was a little party going on. Malta is like party place. But I literally just walked down the street and then I sunbased and just chilled without putting myself into any party. That every single day I was thriving and I was not wasting my time or energy so that I can fully use those energy and time to make contents to do the workshops. And it's actually funny that how universe rewards you for what you've done and what you're actually doing, your intention and your discipline. Because in two weeks in in Malta, I had a fast viral video on my TikTok which gave me 300,000 followers on TikTok in two weeks. Do you think it's a coincidence? I don't. I think everything is intertwined and connected in, a, in an energetic level. So I believe that decision I made was necessary, not necessarily like, okay, I'm like healthy or I'm like physically feeling good, but the decision and intention and commitment that I made was something to do that universe rewarded me and the God rewarded me in a certain degree. 
So, so far, I could only talk about the benefits of quitting alcohol. And then nowadays, I go to the parties and I still have fun because I manage to be charismatic and confident and just a fun person without alcohol. And also one of the reasons why I'm not still drinking. So the one of the reasons why I personally still not drinking is because I've seen someone who's very, very close to me fuck it up with alcohol. And maybe you know some people, maybe your father, your mother, your friend, maybe you've already seen it, maybe you are the one that who has kind of like fucked it up your life with alcohol. Then don't you feel afraid? that you, you will do the same thing or you will be the same person because I've seen many people not just one person that close to me but I've seen a lot of people that who could have changed who could have done something better and bigger in their life but still exactly living the same thing five years later even if it was not the fuck up but still could have done something better they're talented they have something to offer but still living in exact same frequency and maybe some of you guys watching trying to quit alcohol or maybe some of you guys are already quitting alcohol. The number one reason why it's so difficult to quit alcohol is the power of the alcohol, which is not the fact that we feel good and blah, yeah. This power of the alcohol makes everything so much fun. Even if you're a boring person, you become a fun person. Even if you're doing something boring, it becomes so much fun. Even if you're having fun, that becomes super fun. So that is why it's so addictive. That feeling, the sensation, the becoming that person, becoming that someone who's so much fun and make people laugh and feeling free and enjoying life and taste of the joy and the freedom. And that is the power of the alcohol. And maybe some of you guys are still watching and actually and against to my idea because hey drinking whiskey is actually a great opportunity for a business and a connection i absolutely agree i don't know i also definitely used alcohol for the business occasion or like you know connecting to others obviously flirting with a woman but now i don't have a whiskey in my hand i don't have wine i don't have a cigarette in my between my fingers i go up to the bar the same as usual and I ask them to give me a sparkling water with the lemon in it. And I still do connect with people. I seize the opportunity in a business or connecting with someone interesting. And I still flirt with a woman with the sparkling water and a lemon in it. And to be honest, when I started quit alcohol and go into the night, uh, night out and all that kind of things without alcohol, it was a little bit challenging to me, energetic level, you know, like people starting having fun and they're feeling energetic, they're having fun and stuff like that. But like I felt tired, I was not in the mood. So if you're thinking the same, and I will highly recommend you to use a coffee. And also some people want to say that caffeine is actually not good for you. But I do not care on that opinion because I'm quitting something that is obviously a poison. Alcohol is a poison in every degree. It's a drug and I am happy to use the caffeine instead, but depends on the individual. So if you can handle caffeine very well, chocolate, I love 70% cacao. It's also caffeine and I love caffeine or some uh, friend of mine use kava. Uh, there is comes with the oil and drink and stuff like that. It gives you energy. So, so far I'm using a coffee, chocolate. So instead of pouring yourself a poison, it's better to find alternative that fits you very well. Speaking of poison, isn't it interesting that cigarette and alcohol is actually not illegal, but the mushrooms and LSD and all the kind of other drugs and weed, or even MDMA is illegal. But isn't it funny because alcohol and a cigarette doesn't help anyone in any degree but mdma is now actually helping people from the mental illness and the traumatic experiences and as we all know that we has been uh, such a great tool for a lot of people and helping anxiety and stress and even pain and mushroom and is the same and actually in japan back in the days i think i believe it was until until beginning of the 90s mushroom was actually legal in Japan, so people were taking mushrooms and go to the party instead of like getting drunk. The, how come the, the drugs that are actually illegal helping other people, but alcohol and cigarette that doesn't help you at all, is still legal and then everyone can buy? So it shows how the society is manipulating what to believe, right? 
because you have to believe this and X, Y, Z, and this is good, this is bad. We are absolutely programmed. Because cigarette and alcohol actually makes us feel lower energy and damage your body in a certain degree. And it takes our motivation away as well. Even if it little intake, that will cause a dopamine trigger. And if you consistently drink or smoke, that creates that a dopamine cycle. So every time that it becomes the routine and habit internally, or a lot of people actually go straight to the beer or like straight to the wine after the work. And that becomes a dopamine cycle. And then it makes them feel, I am living for this moment and working for this moment. Now the brain cannot process the stress that, that they had in a daytime without actually taking the alcohol. So that stimulation and the sensation that you are experiencing and that dopamine cycle internally that you already created, it sabotages you in every degree from accomplishing your goals or making a change or feeling motivated. A lot of people come to me and they're like, oh, I'm not motivated enough. That's why many people struggle to change. And of course, if you're drinking, if you're smoking, yeah, of course. Or I said weed is good, but if you wanna accomplish some goals, then I think you should stay away from all of those. So to me, I don't know if I wanna start drinking after two years right now at this point. Uh, I'm not sure. I can't say I won't, but so far I'm, I'm fine without drinking and I'm actually happy without drinking. At this point, I don't see the point of me drinking again. So I'll probably keep not drinking and enjoy with my coffee, enjoy the sober life and yeah, feeling good every day. So if you're considering quitting drinking, I highly recommend it because it's, it's a game changer to be honest. And the physical benefits as well and health will definitely become better and then also your mental state become better. And clearly you, you don't waste your time, you know, no hangover in your life. And especially if you're trying to accomplish a goal whatever the goal is, then you have to stop it right now. Stop going to the parties. But if you go to the parties, go home at 10 p.m. and then like fucking get asleep. Because it's very, very important. Your neuroplasticity needs a decent rest. And when you are on alcohol, when you're actually drunk, you're not sleeping, you're not resting. And everything comes from your belief. So if you're believing that, oh, I love alcohol, alcohol yeah, I need it for an opportunity, whatever it is, that belief is connected to some different belief, different pain, different fear, ego, insecurities, whatever it is you have to find out. Identify the what belief that you have is limiting you from quitting alcohol, like being free without alcohol. Because your life is not gonna change if you can't change something in your life. So right now, if you're trying to accomplish your goal, stop drinking right now, in this moment, and reach that goal and then crack the champagne and celebrate with your friends and family. And that is gonna be a beautiful moment. So let me know if you watch this video and three months later, six months later, one year later, you accomplish your goal and then cracking champagne because you quit drinking while you're accomplishing your goal. DM me later once you accomplish or once you crack the champagne, DM me. All right, with this there, uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope that encourages you to, to go after your dreams and without drinking and take care of your health. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe button, notification bell, and, and I have an announcement to make. I have a few open spot for my coaching, Live Your Life Like a Movie. This coaching, and I'll teach you exactly how to heal yourself and to go beyond of your potential and to take back your control in your life. So there's a link in the description you can apply there and then I have a video that explains exactly what this coaching about and who is this coaching for. So have a look, it's just 10 minutes video, it's very short and quick. And I will looking forward to see you in my coaching. Peace out. Live your life like a movie.